We'd like to resume our regular meeting May 20th, 2021. At this time, we will have student representative comments. Caitlin or Caroline, are you here? Okay, so when Caitlin gets here, if you let us know, we can cut back to her. Thank you. Next is report of the superintendent, Dr. Clark. All right, can you hear me? Yeah? yeah. Okay, great. All right, welcome to the May board meeting. So um, good to be in person. Uh, no doubt, it's been an incredibly busy year, very challenging year. Um, not many of our board meetings have been in person. This is our second one, I think, since January, right? Mm -hmm. um, doesn't seem like the uh, school year was ever going to end, and yet it went so incredibly fast all at once, and we were just uh, talking about that today. So as of today, we have exactly 20 days left of school. Wow, hard to believe, hard to believe. 20. About an hour ago, we had our Board of Education recognition ceremony to celebrate all of those students and staff members who we were not able to recognize in person because our meetings were virtual. Uh, and it was really nice, about an hour, well, maybe a little over an hour. And uh, we did get to play some videos and we had an opportunity to uh, celebrate two Eagle Scouts, two, I'm sorry, two Eagle Scouts, nine unsung heroes, 18 seniors of the month, month, which included May, our June seniors of the month, eight staff members of the month, and last but not least, we got to celebrate our six 2021-22 teachers of the year. So uh, it was an excellent celebration. We did uh, record it. I encourage you to watch it. Uh, we had a couple of laughs, our administration was here, and uh, it was just really nice to do. Hence the flowers and the balloons and this nice table in front of us. All right, so Caitlin's going to join us in a little bit. Uh, while we're waiting for um, Caitlin, I do want to welcome our two new student representatives who are going to be joining us uh, next year, and that is Mason Heck, and I see you out there. Mason, stand up, give a big wave, don't be shy. Mason Heck is our senior class president, and Alexis Frazee is our SGA president. Oh, yay. And uh, when we get back to normal and hopefully our meetings return to the lecture hall, you'll have a place up there with us on the day off. And so we welcome you, and uh, we just love our participation with our students because we learn from you, they learn from us, and uh, it's just a really uh, nice thing. All right. Um, this afternoon, our school community uh, received a communication about year-end events. There have been a lot of questions. Um, so fortunately, the end of this school year is going to look very, very different than the end of the last school year because we've moved most of our year-end events outside. And in doing so, we are able to invite our families to attend those year-end events. So you can find the schedule on our website. Again, it was emailed to everybody. And the events that are listed on our website, um, all of those events are going to be on the Lacey Township High School football field to include our fourth grade celebrations. Um, I think the only one that's not going to be on the fo football field is our uh, preschool celebration. Everything else will be on the football field. And we talked about that, um, about how exciting it is for our fourth graders to be out on the high school football field and experience where they're eventually going to end up at Lacey Township High School. And so we're really looking forward to an exciting finish to the school year. Um, Mr. Brandis and his team are working very hard um, on prom and junior prom and graduation. Mr. King's working hard on middle school promotion and uh, all the other events that uh, go along with um, the end of the year. So that concludes my comments, uh, Board President McAvoy. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Clark. At this time, we will transition to public comments. An audience member wishing to make a comment shall raise his or her hand, and when called upon, state their name, address, affiliation, and intention to make a statement. Comments shall be addressed to the board president. Comments shall be made on one issue at a time. Comments shall be limited to five minutes. No audience member will be recognized twice until all who wish to comment have been recognized. At this time, if you'd like to make a public comment, please raise your hand.
Okay, seeing no public comments, we will continue with the agenda. At this time, we're going to have Mrs. Downing present the spotlight on graduates. Okay, good evening, everyone. It's my honor to um, describe two of our spotlights on um, graduates tonight. The first one is this past student named Andy DeAngelis. De Hope I'm saying that correct, sorry. While attending Lacey High School, Andy was an active member of anything arts related. He was in the marching band, concert band, choir, jazz band, pep band, and did the lighting for drama. E Hall was his home. In his junior year, from much co coaxing from friends, he took Mr. Merman's telecommunications class. Jumping into the world of video production would be the inciting incident that directed his future course. He attended DeSales University in Pennsylvania, studying film production and minoring in the technical theater. That summer, he took an internship at Advanced Staging Productions in Westchester, Pennsylvania. The company worked in the live event industry, producing an audio video, video and lighting components to live events for institutions like AstraZeneca, TechCrunch, Columbia University, and College of New Jersey, just to name a few. In the meantime, he was working with two of his former classmates and his prior teacher, Mr. Merman, to produce a documentary film showcasing the history of Lacey Township. After a successful and very busy senior year at the university, Andy received a job offer to be a lighting technician at Advanced Staging Productions, flying all across the country to work events in major cities like San Francisco, Las Vegas, Dallas, Orlando, and more, setting up the lighting for some incredibly intricate corporate events. When COVID hit, he quickly pivoted to, in the company from lighting technician to full-time video editor. He is now poised to be the lead of Advanced Staging's video production department while continuing to work with his friends, Stephen, Winter Rose, and Mr. Merman, collectively known as the What Key Productions, as they follow up on a documentary about Oyster Creek's nuclear power generation station, generating station. Stated by his mom in the um, summary that we received, Andy would certainly would not be where he was today if it hadn't been for the opportunities he had at Lacey Township High School and the time he spent in the lighting booth of the school's auditorium, as well as possibly never leaving the editing suites of the TV studio. We're glad he took that step and became successful in his career, and we look forward to a lot more success as the years come about. Um, I had to really cut that down to a short summary, but it will be posted on our website um, soon. So if you'd uh, like to see a picture, some pictures and more detailed summary, please go on our website. Our second spotlight on graduates is a graduate who came back to Lacey. Raymond Robinson, known to many in town as Dr. Ray, graduated from Lacey in 2010. He was an active student who was most proud of being on a winning bowling team at Lacey where he served as captain. After graduating Lacey, he attended OCC obtaining his associate's degree while trying to figure out what his end goal would be. While attending OCC, he became interested in the medical field, so he switched his concentration to science and obtained his associate's of science degree in 2013. He moved to St. Louis, Missouri and attended Logan University. There he took his first steps toward becoming a chiropractic physician. physician. He completed his Bachelor's of Science in Human Biology in 2016 and continued his education, education obtaining his doctorate in 2018. That's when he officially became Dr. Raymond Robinson. He married his high school sweetheart in 2010 and in his words, she's my best friend and still his closest support system today. He came back to Lacey to practice where he's presently working with Dr. Tom McGillick at Lacey Chiropractic on Route 9. It's always nice when they come back home. So we have two fine graduates out of many, so please check out the website in the near future to read more about them. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Downing. Next, we're going to go to committee reports. Tonight, I'm going to read the finance and operations for Mr. Scanlon. Mr. Scanlon recently had surgery and he's doing great and he's ready to come back and do board business. 
So in the facilities meeting, it was Mr. Scanlon, Mr. Peters, myself, Dr. Clark, and Mr. DeGeorge. We talked about the new direct install program at Cedar Creek School. Um, Mr. DeGeorge informed the members that the county superintendent reviewed and approved the 2020-2021 tentative budget. Mr. DeGeorge explained a new software application that we purchased it is for electronic onboarding for the Human Resources Department. And we discussed in the future possibly um, raising the substitute pay for teachers and for substitute bus drivers. And we also discussed the board making a resolution to oppose the legalized sale of recreational marijuana in Lacey Township and it was unanimous, all seven board members um, did vote to have a resolution and we did show up at the town council meeting and we opposed the recreational sale of marijuana in Lacey Township. And that would be all. And next we would go to policy and Mr. Peters, please. Thank you, President McAvoy. I'd also like to uh, bring some things also a facility that we spoke about. Um, we've been getting <clears throat> several requests to use the building uh, through uh, basketball, wrestling, and currently right now, uh, as the pandemic started, um, we felt it wasn't safe to bring the <clears throat> public in to use the building besides our students when we were at school. So we've been asking some outside clubs to use the building, and we feel that if the school is not in a full-time session, it's not right to let outside people come in and use the building until we're back at full-time session. So it looks like it's gonna have to be after school is uh, finished that we're gonna allow other uh, people to use the buildings. We also discussed in facilities, I'd like to segue into that, um, Mrs. McAvoy. Uh, we talked about replacing some old uh, malfunctioning scoreboards at the board's varsity's baseball team. And I believe it is lacrosse and the soccer field that share a board too? There's two, do you remember the boys what it was? And, the boys and girls lacrosse share. Boys and girls lacrosse share the scoreboard. So there's one scoreboard in between the two fields. So if one had a game, only one team could use a scoreboard. So we're looking into possibly, we're getting quotes for uh, new school boards. That's why they each have their own scoreboard for each field. We talked about the sprinkler system where we need to put a, uh, a regulation, the state, I believe, Dr. George, put this in regulation. If we use so many, so many hundreds of thousands of gallons of water a year, we have to put uh, monitors on our water system to see how many gallons we're actually using uh, throughout the district. Um, athletics, that was it. That was it on that. Oh, uh, we're purchasing a new uh, part for the WLS TV program and that was it. As far as uh, policy, um, we met Ms. Kloss, Dr. Clark, Ms. Senza. we met um, and we discussed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different policies and Dr. Clark decided to do it a little bit different. Um, I don't know if anybody is aware of it, but some of these policies are anywhere from 12 to 22 pages long. And a lot of it comes from our, um, our attorney that it suggests we make changes on our policies. And it could be from uh, student to students or just the wording is different. So rather than um, us get all that work to do, what we're going to start doing now is as far as policies, she's going to give us the policies we're going to get about three weeks to review them ourselves and then go in. And then the following meeting, we're going to discuss the policies. And that way, we're going to put them on the agenda, not for the first read and the second read. And that is it. Thank you, Mr. Peters. At this time, we'll segue into board comments. How about commit curriculum? I did it on purpose. You're Mrs. Downey, me. You're teasing me. could you please give us our <laughs> curriculum minutes? Thank you. Uh, the, curricul the curriculum meeting met on May 10th. Uh, Mrs. McAvoy, Mr. Scanlon, 
and myself sat in for that curriculum meeting along with Dr. Clark and Mr. Decker. Um, we talked about um, our guidance department, Supervisor of Guidance Mary Esch and Mr. Decker are working on a systematic change plan for the guidance department and they just gave us an update on where they are in that plan. The Summer Enrichment Academy development status, um, they're working right now, um, continuing to work on the Summer Enrichment Academy. This is for our students who um, may have fallen behind during the school year and may need some work in the summer. So a parent survey went out and um, a, you're looking at that survey right now, right Mr. Decker? Um, we also were reviewing a new textbook for language arts grades 9 through 12, um, quite big, heavy book, um, and we just, we reviewed that, um, they're going to purchase that for next year. And that's about it. We, you covered the rest in finance and policy, so. Thank you. Thanks for remembering me. Thank you, Mrs. Dowding. And I want to remind everyone that all the minutes for all the committees are on the website. So if you want more details, please look on the website. And at this time, we are going to do board comments. And Mrs. Claus, please. Sure. Uh, good evening. I want to congratulate all the students of the month, teachers of the month, and a special congratulations to Janice, Kim, Megan, Lori, Charles, and Doreen to be selected as teachers of the year. Thank you for making a difference in our district. Uh, spring sports are in full swing. It's so nice to see the parents and the community come together to cheer on our athletes. The outdoor facilities look top notch with freshly painted dugouts. The grounds crew has done a great job maintaining the field. Uh, Marco, if you're still here, thank you very much for your hard work. Um, like Skip said, there's a need to update a few original scoreboards um, that we've had since 1999 and we're working on getting them replaced since they're frequently malfunctioning. Uh, congratulations to the students who earned recognition at their Junior Honor Society ceremony. It was a great event held outside uh, to accommodate family members. We took a tour yesterday at the Lacey High School and looked at the future room for our life skills program. It could definitely use some updating and it's on the agenda to be approved tonight. And that's all, Ms. McAvoy, thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Claus. Next, Mr. Peters, please. Well, I spent most of my meetings with Mrs. Claus and she nailed everything on the head, so I'm not gonna, whatever she said, I'm, I'm Ditto, seconding. Right? <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much, we spent, we spent some time together. But I would like to, just as a side note, um, when you're sitting here and you're watching these teachers <clears throat> walk up to the administrators to receive that award for Teacher of the Year, you could just see the glare in the administrator's eyes because they were facing me as we were sitting here and the Teacher of the Year, they were going up to get their award. You could just see <clears throat> the glare in their eyes, how proud they were that they were getting that award that they actually earned it. So I just want to give a shout out, uh, you know, for the teachers. And um, I don't know the lady's name, the young girl's name, but last board meeting, we missed her at the board, but she did get recognized tonight. I just want to apologize for last meeting for her. Kate, Caitlin Flanagan. Yes. I just want to apologize to her and her parents, both last board meeting. They sat here. And unfortunately, there was a miscommunication and she did not get her award. Her parents sat there, but we did give her an award uh, this, this evening. So I just want to apologize to the parents and we'll try not to make that mistake again. I, I felt really bad after the fact. We asked who they were sitting there. We found out they were. Um, other than that, that's it. Thank you, Mr. Thank Peters. You. Mrs. Desenza? Yes, thank you, Mrs. McAvoy. Um, congratulations to all our honorees tonight, especially our May and June seniors of the senior students of the month. For May, we had Tosh Morazic and Megan Donahue. And for June, Gavin Brennan and Taya Walagrowski. And our vocational senior, Rainbow Wren. It was great to see everyone in person. Congratulations to the unsung heroes, Charles Elmer, Cora Lewis, and please review the superintendent's monthly report to see all the achievements of many more students in all of the schools. Congratulations to our teachers of the year. Again, it was so nice to finally see everyone in person. And congratulations to the newest staff members of the month. Congratulations, as Mrs. Claus said, to all the seventh and eighth graders that were just inducted into the brand new Junior National Honor Society. That was Tuesday afternoon, May 11th, at the middle school, and it was a great event held outdoors, and finally, we get to see the students again. Hmm. Wednesday night, May 12th, the Lenoka Harbor School held their spring band and chorus concert on the back lawn. 
It was wonderful to see and hear the students play in person. I'd like to thank all who made this concert possible. On Thursday night, May 13th, uh, we attended the Contentious Township Committee meeting. I have to say it was one of the most interesting meetings I've attended in the past 17 years. Um, the Cedar Creek School had their chorus and band concert the same night as the Township Committee meeting, and thanks to the video, I was able to watch it later. These two concerts were very special because a lot of the music learning was done virtually on Google Meets. Amazing job and thanks to all who made these presentations possible. It was very obvious all the students enjoyed performing live. Saturday, May 15th, I had the opportunity to listen in to the virtual New Jersey School Board Association Delegate Assembly. The NJSBA now has new officers and they took their oaths of office at this meeting. For the first time ever, this month's Bills and Claims Report, Agenda Attachment A2, contains the cost of all three district benefit components. Benicard prescription is noted at 305,000. Then the de Delta Dental Plan is noted at 44,000. The last item, payroll benefits, appears towards the end of the report at 828,000. So the total for benefits this month came to 1.1 million. This report was geared to only list check payments and the health benefit payment is electronically transmitted, and that is the reason it did not appear on previous bills and claims report. But Mr. DeGeorge and his staff somehow made it possible, and I want to thank them very much for showing this expense going forward on that report. In the past, I had to request this number separately. I'd also like to thank Mr. DeGeorge and his staff for finally getting the new fire alarms. We've all been inconvenienced by the old, antiquated alarm systems. This contract for this large project is on tonight's agenda. It was quite an endeavor, endeavor. I think it took us almost a year to accomplish that. In just a few short months, it will be the 20th anniversary of the historic events of September 11th, 2001. The day New York City lost the World Trade Center buildings, the Pentagon was hit, and a plane was hijacked and crashed over Western Pennsylvania. Since almost all of the current Lacey students were born after this event, I would hope that the school libraries can make the 9-11 picture books that I donated available to the students. They present a very valuable history lesson. It's time to think back and remember. On November 2nd, two board seats are up for vote. Anyone wishing to become a school board candidate, the deadline is Monday, July 26th. Students over 18, please give this some thought. I have met several young 19-year-old board members at state meetings over the past years, and there is a candidate kit online. Please note, the next board meeting has been rescheduled to Monday, June 14th. Thursday night, June 17th, is anticipated to be a graduation ceremony. And thank you to all in attendance here tonight. Thank you, Mrs. McAvoy. Thank you, Mrs. DeCenza. Mrs. Downing, please. Uh, just a very short comment. I just also want to congratulate all the re um, members that got uh, students and teachers that got awards tonight uh, teacher of the year they're um, very fine teachers and um, they were just very touched by first of all being chosen by their peers to be teacher of the month uh, teacher of the year um, it's a great honor and these six uh, teachers truly deserve that honor um, staff members of the month too. I, I sat on that committee this month and oh my gosh, is that such a hard decision to choose out of the numbers that we get of um, nominations and then to narrow it down to just two winners. You want to give it to everybody because they're just so good. Um, I want to congratulate also the junior uh, seventh and eighth graders who were inducted into the Junior National Honor Society. Congratulations to them. Um, I also want to thank uh, the board for approving, um, I did, I think Donna, you did it too, the symposium sponsored by NJSBA. Um, it was two days of uh, workshop sessions between nine and three, one every hour. Um, and some were excellent and then some were, yeah, so-so. But it was, thank you, it was a great uh, two days of information. And I also would like to welcome our new reps. Look forward to working with you next year. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Downing. Vice President Polino, please. <clears throat> Thank you, President.
So I'll keep it brief. Uh, I want to uh, congratulate all our award recipients. Uh, unfortunately, I apologize. I was not able to make the recognition ceremony at 430 at a prior engagement that I had to attend. But I'm sure to watch it on video and looking forward to that. Um, so congratulations to all, all our award recipients. I want to uh, welcome uh, Mason and Alexis, I believe, is our new reps. Uh, so looking forward to having you up here next year. Um, I want to congratulate our uh, new members to the Junior National Honor Society. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to attend that. I was out of state um, on family business. Um, <clears throat> and I'm looking forward to the upcoming graduation. And I believe that is going to be on June 18th, right? That's uh, our regular board meeting? Uh, June 17th. 17th. June 17th. Yeah. Okay. And our, our board meetings change, right? So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, it's it's going to be a, an exciting time, um, something well deserved, and get outside and do that. Um, and last but not least, I just want to thank Mr. DeGeorge and, and um, uh, for all his hard work and Dr. Clark and uh, uh, Mr. Decker um, for their hard work. Um, and also, I want to thank uh, uh, Marco and his uh, crew, gr grounds crew, and his uh, custodial staff for a job well done around here. As uh, Ms. Claus said, they did a great job painting everything, all the fields. Uh, it it's, uh, really looks great, and I thank them for that and everything they do around here. And mostly, I want to thank them for finding my name tag. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Polito. At this time, I'd like to call Caitlin up, our student representative, for remarks. I think this is Caitlin's last time with us, correct? Okay. Actually, you know what, Caitlin? Okay, Caitlin, while you're up here, I'd like to give you this award for being the Student Government Association president this year. You did a wonderful job. <laughs> and we, we appreciate all you've done. Thank you, Caitlin. Um, so today we congratulated our May and June Unsung Hero Awards, and I just want to thank you guys for a wonderful year. We made the best of it, and I really thank all of you for that, and congratulations to everyone today and for the rest of the year and the future that holds. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you, Caitlin, very much. Good luck in the future. Okay. I'm getting her a Wawa gift card for gas. Okay, <laughs> I know. Okay, first of all, I'd, I'd like to thank Mr. Decker for his service. He is retiring as of July 1st, so we wish you good luck in your retirement. We hope you do some nice, fun things. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'd also like to um, acknowledge Maria Valenti. She's here with us tonight. We are approving her as the new transportation coordinator. You have big shoes to fill, but we think you could do it. We, Mr. Hannon taught you well. So good luck, Maria. I want to thank all the people that are here in the audience. This is great to have some people here. We appreciate you coming out and watching our board meetings. Very appreciative. And Mason and Alexis, we're looking forward to working with you. Come July, I guess, or June, you'll be with us and you'll get to sit up on the dais with us in the lecture hall. So looking forward to working with you. And as everybody else said, this is such an exciting time of the year. The awards programs, the scholarships, the preschool graduations, everything is just so exciting for the parents, the students, the more and more gov that the governor lifts all the CDC guidelines, we're able to have more outdoor ceremonies. So we're very excited about that. And I know we've all been going to so many events um, the last couple weeks outside, but I went to one the other day, it was very exciting, it was the Challenger League. So I got to see the special needs students competing against, um, I think it was Barnegat, and they were playing soccer, and it was just so exciting watching their faces and their smiles. 
and I think they have a few more events this year. And I know Dr. Clark puts it on all the um, week in review, too, if anybody ever wants to watch them. And at this time, we're going to close public comment and um, conduct board business. Okay. Could I have a motion to approve the minutes on page one, number one? Motion, motion. Peters. Second. Any discussion? Okay, Mr. DeGeorge, please. Mrs. Claus. Yes. Mr. Peters. Yes. Mrs. Asensa. Yes. Mrs. Downing. Yes. Mr. Polino. Yes. Mrs. McAvoy. Yes. Next, we have the list of bills. Item number two. Can we have a motion, please? Motion. I'll second. Roll call, please. Mrs. Claus. Yes. Mr. Peters. I have to abstain on 9511811732 one, and A19, please. And yes. Okay, yes. Uh, I'll, uh, yes. I'll get to the A19 uh, in just a bit. But yes. Oh, I'm sorry. And everything else is yes, sir? Yes. Thank you. Mrs. Sensa. <laughs> yes, on all except. I'm um, abstaining on one voucher number 953290. 953290. I don't need an email this month. Okay. Thank you. Mrs. Downing. I'm going to vote yes, except for um, abstaining on bill number 953821 and uh, bill number 524950. Thank you. Mr. Polino. Yes. Mrs. McAvoy. Yes. Next up is transfers, items three and four, the budget transfers and the self-reporting. Roll call, please. Uh, motion. motion. A motion, please. Mrs. Mrs. Downing. Downing. And Mrs. Desenza, I think. Okay, that works. Okay. Mrs. Claus. Yes. Mr. Peters. Yes. Mrs. Desenza. Yes. Mrs. Downing. Yes. Mr. Polino. Yes. Mrs. McAvoy. Yes. Next is number five, sale of solar renewable energy credits. Can we have a motion, please? I'll move. Second, Peters. Any discussion? Thank Roll you, call, Mr. Please. George. We're crushing it with that. Keep it up. <laughs> well, thank you for approving it. <laughs> Roll call, please. Mrs. Claus. Yes. Mr. Peters. Yes. Mrs. Desenza. Yes. Mrs. Downing. Yes. Mr. Polino. Yes. Mrs. McAvoy. Yes. Next is items six. To 13, facility related items. Can we have a motion, please? Motion. We have I'll a second. second. I'll second. Second, Mrs. Claus. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Claus? Yes. Mr. Peters? I have a question on 13. Which, yes. Which oh, I'm good. I found it. I'm good. Yes. <coughs> okay, thank you. Mrs. Desensa? Yes. Mrs. Downing? Yes. Mr. Polino. Yes. Mrs. McAvoy. Yes. Next up is items 14 and 15, human resources and curriculum. Can we have a motion, please? I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Items Second. 14 and 15. Okay. The human resources and the curriculum. Okay. A motion, please? Motion. Second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Claus. Yes. Mr. Peters. Yes. Mrs. Desenza. Yes. Mrs. Downing. Yes. Mr. Polino. Yes. Mrs. McAvoy. Yes. Next up is item 16 to 20, cooperative purchase of supplies, the procurement of goods and services, approval of tuition rates, out of district tuition, and out of district placement. Can we have a motion, please? Motion. Second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Claus. Yes. Mr. Peters. Could I stand on A19 and yes? Thanks, sir. Mrs. Desenza. Yes. Mrs. Downing. Yes, sorry, yes. Mr. Polino. Yes. <coughs> Mrs. McAvoy. Yes. 
Next is items 21 and 22, policies and regulations, the second read, and the use of school buses. Can we have a motion, please? Motion, Peters. Second? No second. Okay, any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Claus. Yes. Mr. Peters. Yes. Mrs. DeSensa. Yes. Mrs. Downing. Yes. Mr. Polino. Yes. Mrs. McAvoy. Yes. Next, we have items 23 and 24, harassment, intimidation, and bullying. Can we have a motion, please? Motion, Peters. Second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Claus. Yes. Mr. Peters. Yes. Mrs. DeSensa. Yes. Mrs. Downing. Yes. Mr. Polino. Yes. Mrs. McAvoy. Yes. Next up is donations. And on behalf of the board, we'd like to thank everybody who donated. Can we have a motion, please? Motion. Second? Second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Claus. Yes. Mr. Peters. Yes, and thank you. Mrs. DeSensa. Yes, and thank you. Mrs. Downing. Yes. Mr. Polino. Yes. Mrs. McAvoy. Yes. Next, letter C, programs and curriculum. Motion. Second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Claus. Yes. Mr. Peters. Yes. Mrs. DeSensa. Yes. Mrs. Downing. Yes. Mr. Polino. Yes. Mrs. McAvoy. Yes. Next up is D, professional days and workshops. Motion, please. Motion, Peters. I'll second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Claus. Yes. Mr. Peters. Yes. Mrs. DeSensa. Yes. Mrs. Downing. Yes. Mr. Polino. Yes. Mrs. McAvoy. Yes. Next, we have letter E, certificated personnel. Items one, two, just, number, Just one. number one. I'm sorry, can we have a motion, please? Motion. motion. Second. Second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Claus. Yes. Mr. Peters. Yes. Mrs. DeSensa. Yes. Mrs. Downing. Yes. Mr. Polino. Yes. Mrs. McAvoy. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, thank you, you're welcome. Next, we have E, certificated personnel. Board members, it says two to 17, but it's actually two to 14 and 16 and 17. We took out number 15 because our athletic volunteers are not certificated personnel. So this motion will be on items two to 14 and 16 and 17. Can we have a motion please? I have a question, I'm sorry. And a second. <coughs> I have a question. Any questions? I do. So we don't have to vote on the volunteers? We'll do that next. Oh, okay. Yes. It goes in a different category. So oh, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll motion. A oh. Can we have a second? Second. Any oh. discussion? Okay. Roll call, please. Mrs. Claus. Yes. Mr. Peters. <coughs> yes, and congratulations on your retirement. Mrs. DeSensa. Yes. Mrs. Downing. Uh, yes, I have to abstain on E3, Mr. Decker, uh, even though I'd like to wish him a very happy retirement. I hope you do a better job than I did. And, and also E16, I have to abstain uh, on uh, Nicholas Medensky. The rest are yeses. Thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Polino. Yes. Mrs. McAvoy. Yes, and again, good luck to Mr. Decker. Thanks. You're welcome. Next, item number 15, athletic volunteers. Can we have a motion to approve the athletic volunteers? I'll move. Thank I'll second. You. Okay, any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Claus. Yes. Mr. Peters. Yes, and thank you, thank you very much. Mrs. DeSensa. Yes. Mrs. Downing. Yes. Mr. Polino. Yes. Mrs. McAvoy. Yes. Okay, next we're going to letter F, non-certificated personnel. And Mr. DeGeorge, at this time, could we please um, table Kelly Spritzer, part-time human resources secretary, until the next meeting? Sure, does anybody object uh, to tabling that? 
No. 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 With no objections, it is tabled. Thank you. Okay, can we have a motion on F non-certificated personnel numbers one to eight? Motion. Second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Claus. Yes. Mr. Peters. Yes. Mrs. DeSensa. Yes, and I have two abstentions. Um, item seven, duty aid, uh, Mrs. Quist, and part-time professional, Mrs. Giuliano. Abstain. Thank you. Mrs. Downing. Yes, and I want to wish um, Eileen Passerino and Alan Halcroft um, a happy retirement. Mr. Polino. Yes. Mrs. McAvoy. Yes. Mr. DeGeorge, at this time, do we have any walk-on resolutions? Yes, ma'am. We have one. It reads as follows. Approval of settlement agreement. Move that the Lacey Township Board of Education approve the settlement agreement with respect to civil action number 3 colon 19 dash CV dash 06063 dash MAS dash TJB as discussed in private session. Thank you. Can we have a motion, please? Motion. Second. Second. I'll second. Thank you. Any discussion? Can we have a roll call, please? Mrs. Claus. Yes. Mr. Peters. No. Mrs. DeSensa. Yes. Mrs. Downing. Uh, yes. Mr. Polino. Yes. Mrs. McAvoy. Yes. At this time, the board meeting is over. Thank you for attending. Can we have a motion? I'll move. Motion to adjourn. Thank you. Have a great night, everyone.